Fatma has been crying for 10 days. Her mother, Muna, says it started with a simple cough, but then her daughter became sicker. She's been in this hospital for four days. The doctors told us that she has an infection in the throat and lungs. She has problems breathing and cannot breastfeed. Doctors say this kind of an infection in a baby could have been fatal. But Fatma is recovering at a hospital that's been open for eight months in the northern Syrian town of Afrin. It has around-the-clock emergency service and clinics such as pediatrics, orthopedics and dialysis. 84 patients can stay here overnight. The hospital's been in Afrin for six years, but it only recently opened to residents. This hospital was built by the YPG terror group, and for years it served only the terrorists, no civilians were allowed in. And this tunnel here in the basement was their escape route. And when Turkey launched the Operation Olive Branch in early 2018, it became their only way out. Chief physician Murat Çolakol has been here since the reopening. When we first came here, the YPG had destroyed all the equipment. We fixed it and brought new equipment from Turkey. Now we have doctors here for all the main clinic branches. We are now working side by side, 140 people, mainly from Syria. The hospital employs Arabs, Turks and Kurds. Ilham Rashid is one of them. She's been a nurse for 23 years. When the Syrian regime was here, there was only a small community clinic. During the YPG's reign, there were only private hospitals where people had to pay for the treatment and the medicine. But now in this hospital, there are professional doctors and good medical equipment. Besides, it's free. And it's also saving people like Fatma and trying to give them a healthy future. Alatin College, TRT World, Afrin, Syria.